Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma if you are new here. I'm a mom of two and today I'm doing my baby girl's four month baby update and also a short postpartum update for me. If you're interested in motherhood or lifestyle content, definitely hit that subscribe button down below. Turn on your post notifications so that you are notified every time I post and look at this sweet little girl. There's a mirror um, behind the camera so she's smiling. You see yourself? So we're just gonna jump right into this update video. So this is baby girl Landon. She is four months old today. She was born on January 20th, 2021. We had her at home and I'll link our home birth vlog um, above the screen and in my description if you haven't checked it out yet. So the first thing I wanna talk about is her weight and her length. I'll put her stats on the bottom of the screen. I don't know it on the top of my head right now. She doesn't have an appointment till Monday, but we have a scale, so I'll weigh her at home and see what it is. I definitely think she's in the higher percentile. She is so chunky and so squishy. So as far as milestones go, um, she is liking tummy time a lot better than she used to. She used to hate it at first, but now she is tolerating it and kind of enjoying being able to lift herself up. She has rolled over a few times now. She did it last week, um, just a couple times. She hasn't done it recently. Yeah, she is starting to roll over, which is crazy. So that means we are going to start transitioning her out of her swaddle, which is really sad because she sleeps so good in it. But that leads me to another point is she is super strong and she breaks out of her swaddle every time she wakes up. Um, she is so good at breaking out of it. It's also a little small and it was a hand-me-down, so it's not the strongest swaddle. She is talking all the time. She's babbling, little baby talk. It is so cute to hear. She is giggling. She giggles at her big brother all the time. I don't know why. He must be super funny to her, but um, she'll laugh at us. <laughs> and she's super expressive. She makes the silliest faces, like she makes this one face when her eyes get like super big. It's so silly. She has the cutest little facial expressions. She smiles all the time now, guys. She's a little smiley girl. Are you smiley? She's so much happier now. I feel like when she was a newborn, she always had like a grumpy look on her face. She's starting to be a lot happier. She loves playing with toys and chewing on toys. We have this little toy that like crinkle, makes like a crinkly noise and she loves that one. <laughs> You do. She is still taking all of her naps in the bassinet in our bedroom. She does take a couple in the swing and sometimes in the crib. If Luca's not in there, yeah, she is a great napper. Um, she doesn't take long naps. I would say her naps are from like 30 minutes to an hour. Sometimes two hours if it's in the swing, but... <laughs> We are still co-sleeping with her, so I will put her in the bassinet for the first part of the night. And when she wakes up and is ready to nurse, then I'll pull her in the bed with us. Okay, don't mind me. I'm nursing her a little bit right now. So, this girl loves the bath. She still takes baths with her brother, and she kicks and splashes and is so content and so happy in the bath. She's never cried in the bath. Um, she just cries when she gets out because she doesn't like getting out. Some really interesting thing that we noticed that I didn't mention in my last update video, but I think we noticed it around like two months is she has little webbed toes which is crazy i heard that that is very rare um brandon and i don't have webbed toes luca doesn't um i don't think anyone in my family does the two toes next to her biggest toe are kind of like halfway webbed so i'll insert a little picture or clip it's super unique and i think it makes her different I, we feel like she's gonna be a little mermaid water baby it's so crazy so i thought i'd mention that i'm starting to see more color in her eyes for a while i really couldn't tell what color they were but they they're looking more green and my husband has green eyes I have brown eyes our son has blue eyes but I think hers are gonna be green so since she is four months now um, I have noticed her have a little bit of sleep regression at nighttime like there's been a couple nights where she's like wide awake at like 3 in the morning and is ready to play so I'm hoping that it gets better and not worse but so far a little bit of sleep regression she's in three to six months clothes right now some of her zero to three months still fit and she's in size two diapers I I just want to document that. I don't know if you guys care, but I care. <laughs> she is still spitting up a lot. I'm like constantly covered in spit up and so is she. Yesterday, I actually caught her spit up in my hands three different times. <laughs> Sorry if that was TMI, but I thought it was funny. <laughs> she is drooling all the time, constantly. I need to pull out her bibs. I just keep forgetting, but I believe that teething is starting. It's probably going to be a while before we actually see a tooth, but we are ready for it, huh? 
She is still taking a pacifier, but usually only at nap time or if she's in the car seat. Um, and that's been super helpful. I'm glad that she's not like super, super attached to it so that it'll be easier for us to take it away. Hopefully when the time comes, um, she loves her brother so much. Like I mentioned, she's always looking at him and trying to find him, giggling. You can tell that she loves her brother and her brother loves her like so much. Every time Luca wakes up and she's not in sight, he's like, where's baby? Where's Lennon? She is still taking a bottle. Great. I have had to go back to work with like waitressing and photography a couple times and she takes a bottle so great. No problem, no issues. And she's actually really, really good and easy baby for Brandon to watch. So I'm really thankful about that. She definitely loves her dada. There's been a few nights where she just will not fall asleep for me. And so I get Brandon in to help me and he gets her to sleep right away. And I can definitely tell she's going to be a daddy's girl. And lastly, she is just so sweet and such a chill baby. Um, I know I've said that lots of times before, but we are so blessed with our little Lennon. It's like the sweetest little girl. And her personality is really starting to shine through every day that goes by. And it's such a joy to watch and see. Now I'm gonna give a tiny little postpartum update. I don't have a huge list or anything to talk about, but there's a few little points I wanted to mention. Number one is hair loss. I had really bad postpartum hair loss with my first baby, so I was kind of expecting it, and I didn't know when it was gonna come, but it came this past month. I still only wash my hair once a week, which I thought that would help it, because when I do wash it, chunks and chunks come out in the shower. I'm sorry if that's gross, but it does. And chunks come out in my hairbrush, and I'm just finding hairs everywhere, all over the house so I'm vacuuming a lot but it's super annoying and I hope that it doesn't get too bad I don't really think there's anything I can do to prevent it I'm not gonna go buy like expensive vitamins or anything it is what it is it happens it's hormonal and natural and I'm just going with it I have noticed a little bit of dandruff which is weird because I started washing my hair only once a week so I feel like that would do the opposite but I have heard that dandruff can be like a hormonal thing so maybe my body's just being weird right now but I have noticed a little bit of it and I've never had dandruff in my life so I'm confused. As far as my postpartum body goes I feel great. I've been eating healthier and meal prepping with my husband so that's really awesome. I do notice when I eat a lot of like carbs and bread that I feel super tired so I'm just trying to stay away from those. I feel really confident in my body like I don't feel like ashamed of it or anything but I definitely still feel like I got a little pooch. I still feel like I maybe look like, I don't know, 14 weeks pregnant or something, which is okay. I do want to start working out. I've been looking for the motivation to do that, but it's really hard. Um, uh. I feel like the days go by so fast and I have so much packed into one day. So yeah, I want to find motivation uh. to work out. I'm definitely feeling more and more like myself as the days go by. I just feel so happy and blessed. I mentioned that in my last video, on her last update video, I mentioned how happy I feel with two kids. Um, I know sometimes for some people it can be kind of a challenge going from one to too. But for us, it has been so smooth and I feel very blessed and lucky about that. I always want to share if I ever have any struggles, but honestly, we were just so blessed with an easy baby and an easy transition. So, all right, I'm going to close out this video, but there's one more thing I wanted to mention about postpartum and that is that Brandon, my husband, has been so, so, so supportive. I just feel super blessed and thankful with an awesome husband that helps out equally with the kids and lets me do my thing and supports me with this YouTube stuff and with going back to work. I'm just very thankful for that. And I hope that every mom has that same experience because we really do need to feel supported and loved. Oh. Parenthood is a crazy journey, but it's the best and I wouldn't trade it for the world. And that is going to be the end of my baby and postpartum four month update. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching my videos and supporting me and following me on Instagram. I'll have my Instagram on the screen if you haven't followed me already, but I've been posting a lot on my story about things that are happening in our life and you can be updated quicker if you follow me there so thanks again for watching and we will see you guys in my next video you want to say bye you say bye bye you two all the pieces back together yeah you you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah you you're making me want